Hey, good evening, Icebird. How are you? I'm in love with the Islander, definitely. <laughs> I, I I wrote the developer and asked him if there's another way to to pay and if there's a way to buy it for a friend. How are you doing? I mean, it's a plane that I've loved since I was a kid because I flew it in it as a kid. Like in that blog post I wrote, there's a picture of me as a kid in front of it. I don't know if you saw it, but I love the airplane. Uh, it's a plane that I that is is close to my heart. So even though it has some niggles, I mean, I would call this uh, you know a beta release. It's it's not already, but it already it's already a lot of fun. The main things I I want improved is the sound. Uh, some more sounds out for the for the cockpit switches and stuff and uh and um uh, for the wheel touchdown sound it could be better i think you don't really hear the the tire squeal sque screech and um and when you open the window it would be nice if the sound level changed and another thing i noticed is that the tail number doesn't show up uh, on the outside of the airplane and I like that to show up, so hopefully that'll change. How are you doing? I'm doing. I I, I feel better. I still do a little, not a hundred percent, but but I do feel better. I took ibuprofens, even though the the doctor that gave me the vaccine said, uh, no, don't take ibuprofen because it might affect your your immune system. It might like suppress it take uh tylenol i forget the name of the active ingredient in tylenol and uh, i said timinofen or something and i took that and it helped but ibuprofen was better for me so yes i was like fuck fuck it i just I'm, i just took the ibuprofen excuse my my english <laughs> version one should be up there yeah copy that I, I heard that this developer did that bird dog like the sort of military type version of the cessna and apparently he did a lot of updates for that and people are very happy with it. So, you know, I trust it'll be, you know, in time. Yeah, I'm going to, I have a, there's this blog post here. Let me try to find it on a flight sim. Uh, uh, and, and I'm writing comments there as I go along. It's, uh... Flight simulator BN2 Islander available. There's this thread that people that it seems to be where people are um, are. Uh, I think it's linked from here that people are commenting. Where was it? I always have trouble finding this. Anyway, I'll put the link there later. But I, I am writing all this stuff down to the developer. Because I, I have a... I'm very interested in getting this plane... Uh, in tip-top shape so anything i can do to help the developer do that i will do it here let me try to find it like this all right we're starting now uh forums.flightsimulator.com t i'm just typing it out because it's what's written in my other computer this is the crazy thing about having two systems you know i I like the Mac for, I like PC for gaming and I like the Mac for everything else, so. But yeah, it, uh, it can drive me a little crazy sometimes. Let's just do that and put it on uh, Google search and uh, hopefully it'll find it for us. Let's see. There it is. Fantastic. Yeah, there's so you know it's the usual it's the internet so you're gonna have people that are bitching and people that are uh 
that are happy and and people that are complaining and there was this one guy i don't know if it was a joke but but he asked if <laughs> he asked he's like well oh, the landing gear doesn't seem to be working no is it retractable uh i i just thought i'd check you know i mean look at the outside view of the airplane does it look like where, where the hell is it going to retract the landing gear to to the engine or like it's gonna just disappear like in like a star trek or some sort of futuristic thing that it just gets uh you know you change the conf it's like a uh it's like a mech or a transformer it just changes configuration of the airplane automatically and it slides into the wing uh, i mean who knows maybe there is a maybe I'm, i'll eat my words and there is an islander out there with retractable okay, landing gear but i don't think so <laughs> all right um uh... Here, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll send a reply now, even though the, the YouTube video is not on. But uh, I was going to add it to Neofly. Here it is. Uh, the, I have the instructions here how to add it to Neofly, but I'll look at that later. I'm just going to do some... Uh, I'm going to do some... Uh, some tests. Some... some um, I, 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 I've never flown this plane before other than yesterday. In the evening I did and and look at this you know what's what's very exciting it was like Christmas for me yesterday number one VKB Islander uh, I think <laughs> let's get things straight here black box simulations Islander comes out okay number one this little airplane here comes out which I've been looking forward to for a long time okay beautiful airplane number that's number one number two this arrived and i spent i stayed up until about almost one in the morning mapping look at this thing all right my first new stick in like seven years it's a vkb gladiator next it's so nice i i'm so surprised i mean it cost me 150 bucks i got the the deluxe version whatever you can you can if you're left-handed you can you can pick left and it's a modular flight control system the base uh, came separate from this, and you and then you assemble it very easily, not not difficult. And it feels the the amazing thing about this is it feels. I'll, I'll turn on the flight control so you can see it move. Okay. Let's let's get close to the airplane so you can so you can see it move. You can see the stuff move. But uh, it feels so nice. The the. Uh, this thing here the the motion the the stick motion like there's this i don't know what they did of the design but it really it feels the the resistance it, it, when you release it it slowly goes back to center not quickly pretty slowly and it's it's really nice it's really smooth and it has twist as well for the rudder so i don't have a rudder pedals right now yeah and uh, i'm i'm just really and and look it even has a throttle so i don't even i mean i'm Eventually, I want to get another throttle, but it has a little throttle here. And if you switch to the uh, to the outside view, let's let to the inside view. Let's take a look here. How are we doing here? Uh, yeah, there's the throttle. So yeah, so the throttle here. It, I have it for the throttle and, and for the main, and, and it has these things too, like the these little dials. This I'm using for trim. You can see the trim wheel moving over there. A little, it might be a little too slow. I might have to map it to one of the other ones. But it, it also comes with software that uh, that's really. I mean, I can fire it up here and show you. It's it's really like um, re really nice. Uh, it, it's it's totally. Uh, you you can completely change the way everything works. I mean, it's it's pretty. Um, it's pretty uh complex but i'm getting the hang of it but you can change uh, you can program different axes you can make things uh repeat faster and and it and it it sets the and you can and then you write the, the you write the changes directly to the joystick to the firmware of the joystick you go set write parameters into the device and what that means is then you can just turn off this thing you don't have to keep you, you don't have to keep this uh, software on you just turn it off so you don't have another thing running on your computer which takes resources but it's it, it wrote it to the firmware of the stick so that's really cool you can change the lights of the of, of the rgb and everything like that you know like a geek stuff but uh 
need a bravo photo quadrant for the islander is that is that the one that would look more like this uh I, uh, I've been looking at different throttles. I, I saw this Logitech one that's quite cheap, like 60 bucks or something. It looks pretty nice. It has good reviews on Amazon. I mean, I don't know if it's one of those things that people buy reviews, but Amazon has a problem with that, but it looks pretty good. And, uh, but I've heard of this Bravo thing. I was thinking about the Mongoose, Whirlpool Mongoose, but it's so expensive. So yeah, I think this pitch is going to be way too bit too slow i'm gonna have to remap that probably but we'll find out let's go let's take it for a whirl shall we um yeah so i spent uh, most of the evening mapping for this and i have to stream of it i also managed to get mapped i have the zoom here on one of the hat switches um but yeah it's gonna be much more comfortable to fly with this all right so yesterday hey let's see that thing fly how are you doing shipa oh shipa's here let's uh, stand by i'm missing some stuff Star Trek has it easy. Where do you put this transporter buffer problem solved? <laughs> I miss Shifa showing up. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's see that thing fly. Let's do it. Okay. Um, all right. Well, sim I, I don't I don't have this added to NeoFly yet. So this is just a familiarization flight uh, here where this airplane was designed in the Isle of Wight. And um, we... Uh, I just have the live weather and everything so all, a little bit overcast uh, let's take a look at what uh, the weather report is saying but uh, yesterday this kind gentleman showed up on a stream called Cap canadian captain mustache i think it was called and he taught me how to turn this thing on you know because i when they released it i couldn't find a manual but they add, they've since added a manual to this to the black box simulations website so um all right first things first i think um Let's see, uh, up here we, okay, let's put the mixture. Let me see if I remember. Okay, mixture is full forward, all right. RPM, we're gonna put it full forward. That's yeah, pretty slow, this thing, but uh, we'll, we'll open up the throttle a little bit over there. Uh, parking brake is on, we know that. And uh, then up here, you got like uh, the mags, port mag. There's two engines now, starboard mags, number one and number two. Okay, then we're gonna have uh, on the right here, there's uh, avionics master. First we need, I think, a batteries down, uh, down here, battery. And there's no switch sounds yet. And now avionics master, there you go, radios are coming on. You can start hearing, uh, and then we can put a port generator, turn on, starboard generator, turn on. We're gonna turn on the fuel pumps, uh, the left, the port engine fuel pump, and we're gonna turn the right engine fuel pump. We'll double check uh, the tanks. I think pointed forward is correct. All right. Let's see how is Shepa doing. First things first. Oh, walk around the plane. That's true. Okay, let's go for a walkabout. Okay, that's true. And look, I, I downloaded the manual. I, I downloaded the manual. Let's see. Uh, Oh, but I downloaded it to my Mac, so let me. But I, I do want to show it this to you, so let's uh, let's take a little bit of time to to go to the black box, black box simulation to be in two Islander here. That's the trouble of having two computers and two systems. Like I have on the Mac, I have a I, I'm usually doing all my website stuff there, and then I come here, and then it's all there, and then you know I, I have to find a solution for this. Oh, try before you buy now. Look at that. Download time limited demo here. Look at that, Iceberg. If you want to try it, you don't have to buy it just yet. You can you can download the, the time limited demo. That's cool. That's new. They must have added that today. Uh okay. Uh technical support downloads. Uh let's see. BN2 Islander. There's a setup. Uh where the heck is the manual? I could have sworn I was here. Oh, here you go. Tutorials and manuals. There you go. Network share. Yeah, network share could be could be good. Also, even 
I think I used to mount uh, Windows stuff on the Mac with Samba. Does that still exist? Back when I worked as a web developer. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Here you go, Britain Norman for regional air services. Okay, I'm a regional, I'm going to be a, I'm a regional digital, regional, rare, digital regional air service here, here. So here you go. Is the outside and there's going to be like uh, something about the the walkabout okay so it's almost more fun to fly fly airplanes in flight simulators because you don't have to do all this stuff you know it's it's there's a lot of checklists you have to do when you're flying if you're carrying passengers i understand you know but these bush pilots which is more what i like what i, what I like to do if i ever flew this as a job they would fly it as uh as uh you know by themselves just transporting cargo so if you see videos of these people flying they're pretty quick they're just uh, you know they're not of course they check things but they're not going to like go crazy you know like with, with two million checklists taking out of a huge airport with passengers and that's totally understandable if you have passengers you should do all the checklists but look at all this stuff i forget where what what page it was but there was something about the walk about uh, you know i'm not in the mac here i'm not used to this thing but uh Um, there was something about walking around the airplane. Yeah, no, that, they added a new one. They added the actual, an actual real manual for the real air aircraft. Here you go. This is this one I'm looking for right there. All right, let's try to zoom in into that page now, and see if uh, Windows uh, zooms into the page I want. Is that no? That's is that the walkabout? No, that's not the walkabout yet. Walkabout, that's a Red Hot Chili Peppers song. Should I put it on? It's a bit of... No, it's a, it's a kind of a slowish song. Do you like the... Oh, here you go. Here you go. This this is the walkabout right here. Right? So you have, like, checklists for for everything, including, like, the walk around the airplane to check on the systems. We can do that because, uh, you know, so you start here, then you go two, three, you go, count, you go counterclockwise, you check everything. And... Uh, so let's go for a little walk about the airplane. Let's see if I remember how to, because I this is brand new mappings on this Gladiator, so I'll be surprised if I can take off without crashing, okay? All right. There it is. Very detailed flight model, it's very nice. Looking good. It would be nice if they added a mod that would be like a random bump, you know, like uh, maybe like like uh, a red shirt that uh, that uh, Georgie LaForge or or uh, if you prefer uh, Scotty sent to to do a level two diagnostic on uh, on the left engine cell. He you know, slipped and, and dropped a, a heavy a toolbox and then did a dent and you know he was really scared because it was his first day at the starship enterprise so he didn't report it and then someone was doing a walkabout and it's like look there's a dent here so it'd be nice if they added a mod that it'd be a random dent and you could say i don't know maybe i wouldn't enjoy so much but there are people who love this stuff you know who love uh to to make sure everything is okay and and everything is uh is fine Maybe you could have, you can even fly out a drone to the top of the airplane and see it from above. It has a very it's a very pretty airplane. I find it looks like a kind of like a seagull. Look at that airplane from the top. It, it's very pretty. I think a giant wing. Yeah, really nice. All right, all right. Okay, well that's the walkabout. That'll be my simulated walkabout. Okay, let's get back in here. I hear the fuel pumping. I hear uh, I hear stuff pumping. Like the, it's the sound, you know, it's going to be improved hopefully because it's it there, there's a, you can tell a bit the loops, for example, the fuel pumping and stuff. But right now, let's start with the left engine, okay? And that's on, okay? And now let's start with the starboard engine. Right, starboard engine is fine. It's almost like I'm in a check ride here because look, there's a there's a co-pilot sitting behind me. You know, it's like an invigilator and a in a, a proctor and a, doing exams, and it's gonna it's gonna start it's making feel making me feel nervous. Okay, and that's about it, I think. I mean, we can turn lights on down here. Uh, let's put on the nav lights. Uh, uh cabin lights. Uh, 
beacon uh, don't need to strobe no we don't want to blind people at their landing lights let's let's see what the landing lights look like taxi lights let's turn those on too and uh anything else here i think we're doing pretty good uh instrument lights we'll turn those on for the hell of it all right I think the the brakes were. Let me check if I mapped the brakes right. Had I mapped this for the brakes? Oh, the brakes don't seem to be mapped, unless it's something else that I'm not looking at. Let me double check that because I, I want to make sure that I can stop and not crash and then end our flight early here brakes uh oh no that's and look i was thinking why well, i don't have throttle for i have two that you have like two million things to manage look what i have here i have this this is my this is my uh this is my throttle quadrant over here okay so i have i have a i was like why don't i use that and it worked microsoft flight simulator checks it so i can use this if i want but no i'm i'm using the gladiator not uh you know they named it after someone who fought in in the Colosseum in ancient rome and not just in Colosseum, but in north africa wherever the romans had uh had uh stadiums that you could watch people kill each other but uh this is the gladiator next so it's the next it's like it's the first gladiator was the original series and this is the next generation okay breaks 29 so i have it mapped but is, the, is it not uh, okay that's what I thought I had. Okay, apply and save. Just making sure. But uh, doesn't. Where where is the brakes in this aircraft? Do you press something? Uh, is it not animated? Because I just get confused that it's maybe it's a button in the stick that's the brakes. Maybe they're not animated, or maybe I'm just looking at a, the wrong place. But anyway, let's go outside. If the landing lights are on. Don't see much of the light, but it's daytime now. So, okay, let's undo the parking brake and let's go. First, I'm gonna tell them I'm taxiing. Hotel, Even though no one's gonna reply. One the parking brake, maybe now the brake will work. Okay, no, I don't see a brake animation. I'm probably looking in the wrong place, okay. All right. You have to change that fast. That's not the lever level for the Islander. Uh, change what? Uh, stand by. Change the. Oh, oh, the the controller. <laughs> you don't think it's appropriate for me to fly with a Logitech third party? <laughs> gamepad as a as a as a throttle as a throttle quadrant <laughs> one oh boss oh the sun is peeking out of the clouds there maybe we can climb up uh, above the clouds Yeah, some people in the forum complain about the rattling of this. Uh... Uh, I mean, I agree that the sound can be improved, okay? I, th I think it's fine for what it is already, you know? But sound is very important. But, but I like the sound of the engines very much. It, it kind of almost... Ooh. It almost reminds me of... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to be pretty rough today because I'm... Uh... Not because I'm not feeling good. That was yesterday, but because I'm... Uh... The brand new stick, and I'm totally, I'm, I'm, I'm getting familiarized with it. All right. Let's stop here. See if anyone's coming. Seems okay. There's D three V I A I out there. And when I map controls, when I'm mapping uh, to this uh, gladiator to sticks, I, I map outside views too because I love outside views in flight simulators. You know, what's the point of flying a flight simulator if you can't? look at outside views you know i i even i i think that even in il2 stermovic when they have those those full real like uh 
servers where they they disable routes of you. I mean, come on, give me a break. It's not really going to give you an advantage. I mean, it's hard enough to see things without uh, icons. Going to an outside view is not going to give you a huge advantage, okay? Because you still have to keep switching back and forth. So I don't understand why they disable outside views in those servers, uh, you know? When I was younger, I was a bit of a masochist too. It's like, it has to be super realistic and I have, it has to be as if I was in the airplane, but you're sitting in front of a computer, you're not in the airplane. And uh, I think some, uh, you can, you should be able to uh, have some uh, changes uh, in the interests of uh, some usability friendly uh, settings. But enough complaining, Simon, stop complaining. I know you had a rough day of the yesterday. Let's just take it easy, stop complaining, and let's turn this plane and get her off the ground here. I really like the two engines. I, I'm so glad that this plane is out for me to, to learn how to fly with two engines, uh, you know, category B or whatever it's called, on this airplane. It's one of my top three airplanes ever this probably the spitfire and slowly the cessna is becoming one of my top engine uh favorites too now all right okay well let's tell the air, air traffic control i'm ready here uh, i'm gonna remain in the pattern because i want to do a i'm just gonna go around and try try some landings because well, one one thing uh one thing i what runway am I in? Oh. I am on. There's whatever has the zero in the end. Which one has the zero in the end? Three zero. And now it's takeoff. I'm going to remain in the pattern. Yeah, the drone will be happy with this uh, with this thing here, but you know what? I, I I've mapped the drone to the. I, I'm getting. I'm pretty used to because I play a lot of different flight simulators, and if I if I were to like what I try to do with my mappings is I try to map everything around the the same in the flight simulator. So in an Elite, there's the outside drone, and in this, there's an outside drone, and I try to map it the same. I have it for the WAS and the keyboard because if I didn't, I'd just go crazy. You know? Okay, here we go uh takeoff flaps let's check that there they are okay the, the the flaps let me see if i remember if i set flaps here okay oh nice i have another hat switch to flap okay two that's takeoff all right already and here we go smoothly full forward Whoa. Excellent. It looks like a big seagull with its with his legs down. The Baconator Niner Zero back flying around the United Kingdom. A regular uh a regular uh visitor here. Uh, let's remain in the pattern. Let's do some touch and goes. Those big, beautiful Lycoming like engines on the side there. Let's go to the outside view. And uh, let's put those flaps up. Guess what? Now I can do it without taking my hands off the flight stick because I have more uh, with this new Gladiator. I have more. Uh, Let's see how the trim is, how the trim is. Oh, that's pretty good. That's not too bad. Okay, is it too, is it not fast enough? I'm, I'm, I'm checking the trim. Is this, li this little trim wheel, it can be changed with that, uh, with that mapping software of the Gladiator. It can be changed to make it, uh, it's called, uh, I forget the name now, but it, there's a particular name. It's like, it presses a button several times uh, every turn. And you can change the multiplier so it presses the button more times by for each uh, turn you do if it's not working fast enough for you beautiful airplane look at that 
ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful airplane, a beauty this. And it brings me memories from when I was about five, six years old in the middle of nowhere in Goiás, in Brazil, about 200 kilometers, or 400 kilometers maybe it was north uh, of Brasilia. Gorgeous airplane. <laughs> Why is the gear not up? Because the gear is stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna file a bug report. Let's file a bug report. The gear, this, I press the G button and the gear doesn't go up, you know? But let's climb up above the clouds and then we'll try because I'm, I'm, it, this is just like a, a, a feel good airplane. The way it handles, it's so smooth. It really feels like you're flying something, and it. Uh, and as soon as I first handled it, I, I'm like, yes, I like this airplane. It's very gentle. Quite a bit of weather here. There we go. We're gonna start climbing out. This is one of my favorite things to do in, in flight simulators is to slowly climb climb out of weather. Look at that, and look at that. All of a sudden, we're above the clouds, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful machine. Should I have a... Uh... And look at that. It's so smooth. It's a very smooth, friendly airplane, this. All right, let's get in the cockpit. Let's trim her. Let's stay here above the clouds. <laughs> it's fixed gear. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a fixed gear airplane, Icebird. There it is. Uh... Hey, what are you saying? Joking around? You think I'm a clown? I'm here to entertain you? Wow, look at that. This is one of my favorite things to do in this flight simulator. Any flight simulator, that, but this is the best one for it. It's flying above the clouds and just seeing all of a sudden your visibility increase, you know. It's just really a tour de force of, of graphics by Asobo Studios to, to, to give us these sort of clouds. So yeah, so like, look, the, the landing gear is fixed. Uh, this plane is, is a very strong landing gear. That's why you can land on such rough terrain of this plane. It's, uh, I mean, I did it in real life. I had an emergency airplane. I wasn't piloting it, but I, I was like six, five, six years old. I was... I was uh, flying one of these. I was flying in one of these, and there was a storm, and there was water started to come in the cabin. Because I don't know if the, if the plane hadn't been a, it's a leak of some sort, and uh, and the pilot decided to land, and there was no runway, there was no air airfield. He just saw a field and he just landed, and it was just amazing. And then he took off from it, no problem, you know. The BN2 Islander. I like, I like, it kind of looks like a space shuttle, you know? It's like a seagull crossed of a space shuttle. It, it's like, uh, because look at, look at that cockpit. Like, you see, like, you can see from the inside this thing here, you know, this, this little in the edge here that it, that it curves down, like this thing here. That's like this, it reminds me of the cockpit of the space shuttle. It has a little thing like that, too. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then, um, on the wing, the front, those things, that reminds me of the space shuttle too, the bottom, like, uh, uh, things that, so it doesn't burn up in the atmosphere. <laughs> no warp or frame shift, hyperdrive, no retractable landing gear, landing gear. <laughs> how primitive. He showed plenty, it's okay, it's got that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another applause for Shupa. Our regular here. <laughs> and that's the excellent commentary as always. And where are we? I don't even know where we are. We're 
Okay, we're still surf over here. Let's let's go uh, let's go back to let's let's descend below the clouds. Right when you get to the close to the coast here. And look and look at that. Look at that view through the clouds over there. I'm thinking I am going to remap this the trim to a hat switch because uh, it's just easier that I, I I don't have to use uh, two hands to trim. All right, I'm gonna cut power and start descending here a bit. Heat shield plating has got that. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like a bit like the the adder in Elite. Elite Odyssey coming out in what? Six days or so. I have to I'm gonna have to I haven't done the mapping for Elite yet. That's gonna be the most time consuming one because Elite has I have so many mappings for Elite in my T Flight Hottest. Yeah, it's a smoother ride than what the the adder. <laughs> it's super smooth this airplane. It's super smooth. Descending here through the clouds. There you go, there's a hole we can look in through. I haven't even returned that taking your time. Cool. Are you, are, you, are you planning on being back for the Odyssey? We, we should. Let's play together on the launch if you're back, Jeepa. Maybe I can jump out and meet you somewhere a bit further out. But I but actually I want for the launch I want to be there because I want to try to get the first uh, footfall thing. I don't know if uh, that that's going to work. Look at the little lake there right through the clouds. Stand by. I won't make it back before launch unless I go full power. Okay. Just taking it easy. I hear you. Oh. I like taking it easy too, you know. I mean, I'm I'm just already at Sol, so I don't have to uh to worry. Very pretty weather here. This is just amazing. Screenshot time. Here you go. Forgot which button I mapped to take flight to take control of the airplane when I'm in the out on the outside view. Was it uh, this one? It was okay. Now I know. I don't feel the need for first footfall and things. I'm just there somewhere, sometime. Copy. And I mean, there's so much you can get first footfall out there, right? Yeah, I'm just happened to be there, so I thought I might check it out to see if I'm. I'm curious if they actually have it implemented for Sol system. All right, right in the middle of the Isle of Wight here. Let's see uh, some low flying here. Oh, stand by, we got a call. Or, oh, it stopped. What was that? Stand by. It's my mom. Opa! Oi? Tinha te chamado de manhã. Ah, tô, eu tô... Aqui são... 10h36. É, foi. Que saco, hein, mãe? Eu acho que você tem que tomar mais cuidado quando você sai. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen.
All right, and we're back. We're back right in time for a little, uh, for a touch and go. I'm gonna get in touch with the, I'm gonna get in touch with, uh, Jeez, it's a noise from outside. They have like, I don't know. Can you all hear? I don't know if anybody can hear this. Like, from outside, here in the United States, they're obsessed with blowing, using gasoline to blow leaves. They they, they have a backpack, and they uh, they're obsessed with with using gasoline to blow leaves uh, to power a blower and blow leaves off sidewalks. Isn't that crazy? You use gasoline, you use a fossil fuel to blow leaves. You you use a just leave the leaves there or or use like a brush for goodness sake it's so noisy and it's so annoying all right let's put the flaps down oh i forgot i i can i can do it from my stick now i don't have to do it anymore from uh it's a familiarization flight not only of this airplane but of this new control stick so no very very dangerous flight like a brand new airplane that i'm not familiar with and, and brand new control stick i'm not familiar with either that i've been mapping uh last night all right that's not too bad okay and if you want to get on the landing rate leaderboard that's the time to make a prediction it uh it's uh Exclamation point, predict space and a negative number from zero to, I don't know, a thousand. If you think I'm gonna blow up, you put negative a thousand. You go to exclamation point, predict space, negative a thousand. If you think I'm gonna blow up, if you think I'm gonna make a smooth landing, you put uh, exclamation point, predict uh, negative uh, 50 or a hundred. What's that? Is that a plane out there? Oh, it's just, a, it's just some red lights. I don't know what those red lights are. All right, 69. <laughs> All right, Shifa. Here we go. Feeling okay. I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm, I'm concerned with this airplane about cutting the throttle too soon because then the, air, the, 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 the engine seemed to, to cut out. All right, and Shifa with the win. That wasn't bad. That's my best landing yet in this this beast here. The quite a bit of wind. I'm having to use a little bit of a right aileron to keep her down on the ground. Interesting thing that I noticed in Microsoft Flight Simulator: if there's a lot of wind and the airplane is this stationary, even with the engines off, it moves. The wind moves the airplane. You can see it move. All right, isn't that cool? Oh, there's the landing light. I saw it now. All right, Icebird predicted the next one. I copy that. So Shipa got one. This one is Shipa. Icebird was maybe Icebird is is running on his thing, on his thing. Uh, and, and we're just gonna take off. Uh, let's taxi to the other end. Actually, let's just take off this way. It is not very much wind. We can take off a tailwind here of this beast. All right, let's stop right here. Let's uh, put a... And one thing I'm gonna... Let's put the flaps to take off. Right there. Flaps to take off. One comment I saw... And okay, now it's going up. Now it's going back down. One comment I saw in the, in the, fli in the flight simulator forum there is... Uh, regarding... This fuel flow. Someone was complaining that it was too fast. That it out, it it uh, it followed the the change in mixture automatically. So, for example, if I change the mixture right here. Okay, let's see. Uh, that. Oh no, the, it's it's going with the throttle. Okay, it seems okay for me. 
And another thing I'm, I'm curious about is does, and, I, and look, I had forgotten the mixture, not full rich for the landing. Good thing I had a good, a decent approach. Um, another thing that, um, that I should, men that I wanted to mention is, uh, I forgot. <laughs> There's so many buttons, you look at one thing, you think of a different thing and you forget, okay. Before you take off, let me write down uh, on the to-do list. Today is Thursday, right? Thursday, May 13th, 2021. Shipa has one for the landing rate leaderboard. All right. And Iceberg just predicted negative 68.48 for my next landing. Let's just do a circuit and do another landing right now. Okay, tailwind takeoff, very not a very strong one. I work best of no competition on those landings. Oh, the copy ship. Okay, here we go. Take off. And she's up. Very short takeoff this airplane is capable of. Flaps up. So nice to have the flaps on the stick now. All right, let's do a left hand turn here. Flying from the airfield, uh, I forget the name of it, so I can, let me just look up here. Back, back. Bembridge, Echo Gulf Hotel Juliet, where this airplane was, uh, f I think, designed, and maybe first flown. This is where it used to make it in the Isle of Wight. All right, let's tune in and uh, we'll do a, a runway 30 again. And we'll do a, we'll do a, let's do another full stop. Let's do a touch and go this time. Very smooth airplane. Look how smoothly she turns. And with this new Gladiator Next, it's it really is. Uh, if you have not f used the joystick before, and you use this for the first time, then you're spoiled because you have it good. I I was using a T Flight Hottest for a long time. This is like it's the feeling of the stick moving. The feeling of this. You can see how smoothly. There's a weight to it that you can feel almost like there's air flowing through the wings here. Chipa gets negative 96.65, all right. Some competition now. Gotta get below this cloud here. It's a bit of weather here. To, uh... And as I'm flying, I am thinking that I'm gonna switch, change my trim uh, to, a, to a hat switch instead of to the to the roller dial because it's just uh and i can do it with one hand the trim in this airplane is right here you do do it with two hands is this, this thing over here look at that see that big wheel moving over there that's the trim right there they call it the tail trim british airplane has personality including on uh you know the words they use Doesn't do decimals, has to be one full point. Yeah, it doesn't do decimals, that's true. 96.65. And what's the other one? What's the distance she can go? I think uh, 900 nautical miles this thing can go. It, go. it can go far. We'll check when we, we can check when we land. It's a long hauler. I flew in one of these ones from Rio de Janeiro to about two, hundred or four hundred kilometers north of Brasilia and I don't think we refueled if I remember right according to my mom we did not stop for refuel and I was sick so I don't remember so this is a great plane for, for around the world trip something like that that I may do eventually I'm trying to stay below the cloud here so I can see but then it means my approach, I can't see the, where we're landing that well. But I know that there's those cliffs there and I know it's not far from there. 
and actually check instead of opening up that digital you can look right here look at that echo gove hotel november there it is i like this old school gns 530 garmin i like the older more utilitarian cockpits like of the gauges i love gauges i love all this stuff moving and uh it's seen like the throttle controls moving i much prefer airplanes that have uh these you know like an analog walk clock I, I prefer them to digital displays if i'm gonna really fly all digital display i might might as well be in an f-18 or f-16 or something I love the how the wing like these little the tips are a little they're 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 twisted up there's a name for that i forget what it is but uh isn't that cool it's a pretty airplane this was that it no i think i missed it i think uh let's do a right hand turn very stable it's like a big it's like a, a boat in a in a calm sea like a big flying sky boat in a calm sea there's an, an alice coltrane song called uh lovely sky boat i think it's quite a nice song yeah the curl mangas and it has a bunch of libraries that came with it very cool All right, there's the there's the runway. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, and that is this Renault Pario Five. Uh, what to boss? Uh, what to boss? Thank you. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here for uh, this uh, BN2 Islander stream. It's an airplane I flew in when I was a kid, so it's one of my favorite airplanes in the whole wide world. And here I am uh, flying it with a new stick. I am so happy. How's it going, Dal Chris? Hey, thanks for the follow, Dal Chris. Fantastic. I'm gonna have to go for a. I'm gonna have to t turn around again because uh, you were a pilot. No, I'm not a. I'm a digital pilot. Thanks so much for the follow, Bauru two one eight. I'm not a. <laughs> I'm not a pilot, uh, but when I was a kid, I I flew in these with this crazy pilot who was called Cosmo. You know, what a great name for a for a pilot. He was called Cosmo in Brazil, and I had an emergency landing in one of these when I was about five, six years old. We were it was a day kind of like this. We were we were in you know in clouds, and there was a lot of uh, there was a storm that we flew into, and it was flying to from Rio de Janeiro to north of Brasilia, Goiás, the middle of nowhere. And your pilot was forced to land in a field wherever he could because there was water coming into the cabin because a storm was, I don't know what the heck was, if there was a leak or what. And he landed on a, put, on a field which turned out to be a, a plantation of potatoes or something. And then we waited for the storm to pass and then he, he took off again. And I was like, wow. And ever since then, uh, Brazil number one, Brazil, you, 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 uh, agreed. I, I, you know, in soccer there, they, they had some rough times lately with the Germans in the World Cup and stuff like that, but uh, it's still, uh, you know, I miss Brazil a lot. I haven't been to Brazil for a long time. My brother lives in Rio de Janeiro. I should go see him. My mom is angry that, uh, let's put my flaps down before I forget. Okay, I do have some landing. Okay, there's the flaps uh, down to, all the way down to uh, landing position, ladies and gentlemen. Eu sou brasileiro, I'm from Brazil. Are you from Brazil? Ba Bauru? É de Bauru? The fascination began, lol. I'm actually about to start fly lessons here soon. In Brazil? Are you serious, man? How, how much does it cost to, to like, in, in US dollars equivalent to, to get a private pilot's license in Brazil? Like, cheap as possible, you know? I mean, preferably something that they will actually teach you to fly and not kill you, but... Because here in the States, I, I heard from Howard learned, Forder Learn to Fly streams that it's about 10,000 bucks uh, 
It's sort of expensive, you know. I'd love to, to have real flying lessons. Money São Paulo, opa! Are you in Japan now, Chris? Awesome. Where do you live in São Paulo, Bauru? I lived in uh, in uh, Carapicuíba, in Cochia, for like eight years. Oh, no worries. No worries. No need to Google. I can look it up, but uh, just uh, just in case you... you need. Okay, here we go. We are uh, approaching here. A little bit fast, but... Oh, a little bit fast, a little bit fast, let's uh... I'm not used to this plane, I'm brand new at this plane, okay? So I'm more used to the Cessna 152, okay, that's not too bad, what was it? Chipa! Chipa wins the landing ga guess with uh... Wow, 90 minus 77, that wasn't bad. Alright, Chipa, two, two points today. An applause for Chipa, ladies and gentlemen. Computer, an applause for Chipa, thank you. I love this airplane. It's such an awesome airplane to fly. It feels so good. <laughs> let me taxi out of the runway here and we'll take a little break and let me see if I missed anything in the chat because you got you know, this one wonderful raid here came out uh, right when I was um, in the landing here. So let's park by the windsock. One of my favorite things about airplanes is wind. That you have to keep pay attention to the weather. And I love weather. I like to live in the real world where there is weather. And it's so nice that they're starting to simulate the real world stuff like weather sometimes in uh in some uh, in some of these uh simulators like this one you know we're living a golden age of flight simulators here ladies and gentlemen all right let me give you a good a good a nice view of the of this pretty airplane from the side and let's uh, let me take a look at the chat here and let me go check out some of these people that are rating and um and then we'll be right back what a pretty airplane It's a very friendly looking airplane. It's it's just a, a beauty. All right, so da Dow Chris, our <laughs> digital pilot. You were you you. Yeah, I I'm, I do consider myself fra. I, I was born in Brazil. I lived there till I was about 14, 15. Then I left. Then I went back for one year. Then I left again. I haven't been back since. Just a. Uh, it's been like 18 years or something but uh you know i love i i i prefer thinking i'm a from citizen from the planet than from a particular country but you know i love brazil i love the the the, the place you know the food the the weather 90 to 140,000 hey eyes for commercial pilot license total class and wow how about private okay I, commercial i'm not i wouldn't be so interested because i like these small planes like this one although this could be a commercial one so good. The exam by itself is 250 reais. The penny on the school. It costs about 2,500 reais for a technical course. Looks old. I like it. The airplane, right? It is. A, it's from the 1960s, I think. Probably designed late 50s. But first flew, I think, in 65, maybe. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm not a fan of the, you know, Brazilian has always had a problem of corruption in, in government, but right now it's, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of the government there and uh, the situation, but, okay, let's take off again, keep going. Yes, I'm a star citizen, not in Chris Roberts' video game, but just a, a Cosmos citizen here. Let's go, another touch and go, let's, let's, let's do another landing. Let me, let me put another, wait, did, I, did I click something? Is carburetor supposed to be on or off? That I don't know. I think it's, I think it was up there, right? Another request, black box simulations, please make these things here move. I want to see these. Uh, I want to see these wires here move when you're flying. Maybe a tall order, but I would love to see that ba that banging. You know, when you turn right, it moves right. When you bank left, it bangs against the cockpit here. That would be nice. They can open this. They don't have a, a, a Y sound engine, uh, not like an intelligence engine, but a, there's this new sound engine in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 called Wise or something, W Wise. You know, these geeks give these weird names to these things. So it's called W Wise, but the, the Black Box uh, Simulation Studio doesn't have a sound engineer yet that is uh, can do that. So 
the volume doesn't change opening the window yet and you don't have the the sound for for the for switches and stuff but hopefully that'll that'll come eventually okay and, and I've, I've been forgetting to switch off the fuel pump i don't know if that means we're just using more fuel than usual i'm not sure what what that's about but uh where is the fuel i don't even know where fuel pre those are all the pressures i don't even know where the fuel gauge is in this oh is it here it'd probably be a good idea to find out where the fuel gauge is in this right fuel flow manifold pressure oh that's okay yeah that's good um here i'll, I'll show you i'll show you the thing um if you basically go to uh let's see if you go here that's how that works so you can get your are you a streamer too baru i'm gonna go check out your channel afterwards also uh dow chris i'll check out both your channels afterwards okay All right, if you're looking for this, oh, this one I just downloaded, so I'll just leave it there for now. Let's close it. All right. All right. I'm an amateur streaming. I started uh, last August or September or something. And here I am. Um, oh, don't want to go outside the window. Uh, and I, I have a brand new flight stick. It's this uh, Gladiator Nexo, so that's why I'm a little bit confused. Uh, I'm not as, well, I'm never smooth, but uh, even less so today. Okay, let's switch the fla flap to uh, takeoff. Parking brake uh, off. And we're just gonna go straight out. Rotate at 64 knots, the little blue thing right there. It's a fun plane to fly because she's very stable. And you can land in crazy places, okay? I'm going to put a link to a video. You're going to, like a IRL, you know, in real life video. All these acronyms coming out of... Uh, I don't know if that was from the pandemic or no, I think that's just from the internet, you know, <laughs> in real life. Very pretty machine. Well, I'm predicting a very smooth landing, so act like you are walking on glass. All right. <laughs> I always try to do a smooth landing as I can, unless it's like a very short place, but that's in Neofly. If I have to fly something in Neofly, we'll do bot, <laughs> lol. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, my Nightbot timer. Uh... <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Yeah, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers on YouTube. If you subscribe, I thank you because then they let me have a custom URL, you know, that's hypertext here instead of a bunch of letters and numbers and punctuation marks. Baconator is still going strong up there. Baconator nine or zero. All right, here we go. Shiba has two. Let's uh, get the flaps down again. Oh, look at those clouds! Wow, look at those clouds. Let's let's fly to the clouds a little bit. Raise the flaps again. Look at that weather. Isn't that gorgeous? so beautiful this the weather engine in this game what is the pedestrian crosswalk in front of the floor uh oh wait a minute okay hold up let me let me i'm i'm, I'm getting i'm getting uh i'm losing a uh, chat here let me see let me keep it i've been talking to some americans on discord's voice chat and my grammar in portuguese has actually changed a bit yeah i know like my I think from streaming and just from only talking to people on the computer in the past year well no, of course i talked to you know my partner she's around not around right now but just talking so much to people on the internet it kind of changes the way you talk right because language uh i even noticed that before all this that I w if i was hanging out of a friend of mine that talked a certain way 
I would, after a while, start talking like him. I think it's a, a sort of almost natural human tendency to to imitate uh, to imitate uh, of imitation. I don't know if that makes sense. All right, I'm sorry. It takes me a little while this because I I'm learning how to relearning how to fly with this new flight stick here. Cool, man. I feel you. Ba Bauru 218. Do you prefer I speak, I say Bauru like in the Portuguese or, or Bauru 218? Or you don't care? <laughs> what is the pedestrian crosswalk in front of the floor? You mean like in the airplane, uh, uh, Iceberg? Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Uh, what, see if I can see what you're talking about. Or were you talking about something? Uh... Oh, this here? Yeah, it does look like the that Beatles album. What was that Beatles album? I guess it's just like some some scuff uh, foot uh, protectors. It's a very utilitarian airplane, okay? It's like, uh, you can see like... I mean, the textures could be a bit sharper in the cockpit, okay? These are not very sharp, for example. A Sobo Studios, for example, has sharper texture. The the planes in a, the default planes in a Sobo Studios, uh, and they have sharper textures. But, you know, for uh, initial release, it's great. Look, you have like a thermometer out here. That's pretty cool. And it, what I like is it has both Fahrenheit and centigrade. Isn't that cool? Because I, 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 my brain works in, in centigrade, not Fahrenheit. Whoa, almost got vertigo there, the passing through that cloud. Um, so this is just it, itself, uh, this airplane for me, it's a, it's a learning it's a learning uh, experience because right there, see, I can see, okay, 20, 20 centigrade is about 70 Fahrenheit. 100 centigrade is about 37. Okay, that's Rio de Janeiro in, in the summer. Although these days it's getting more close to 40 and even above, according to my brother. Yeah, right, Black Blocks, you want your, mo your money back for the textures, right? <laughs> Easy to clean boot rest. That makes sense. Copy, Bauru. All right, let's get back to the runway. Let's see if we can see where we are without having to zoom. Going over here. All right, it's behind us now. So let's let's do a bank to to port here. I'm gonna cut power a little bit. And I keep forgetting to switch these fuel pumps off. I think I'm supposed to fuel the, switch them off after you take off. Is this the fuel tank here? No, that's amps, that's the ammeter. Oh, here you go, fuel reserves. Is that it? Fuel contents, yeah. US gallon, all right. That's the starboard engine, that's the... You know, what I love about this too, it's a very sort of 1960s, 1970s design. It reminds me of those old, like, uh, Technics uh, sound systems, you know? It has, like, this glass thing in front that kind of slightly magnifies the, the, the letters behind it. Oh, and you're seeing this, you're seeing it when we fly through these clouds, the change. Let's try it from the outside view a bit. It's so nice, look at that. Oh, but did you change your guess, Iceberg, or you just give me a new one? All right, let's, let's go for the landing. I'm not going to keep you waiting. Okay, no worries, you can do another one. If you want to just replace that one, you can put the negative because I, I don't think I don't know if it takes the positive one. All right, we're pretty high here. This plane likes to climb. She really likes to climb. If you just keep flying and you're not careful with your trim, she, she wants to climb. She's rearing to go above the clouds. This this beauty here. Copy that, Bauru. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much for dropping by. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for Daukris for the wonderful raid. All right, I'll give you five minutes. I'll give you five minutes before I land. Then is that what? Did you do a guess? Let's see. Okay, we'll do we'll do, we'll do a, a clean pass. We'll, we'll do we'll do I mean a a pass on the runway. I'll wait for Bauru to come back.
I have to descend quite a bit, and this is not, you know, a P51, so I can't point it straight down and and uh, go to 500 miles an hour without breaking up. This will, will you'll get the you get the game over, the Microsoft Flight Simulator game over screen if you try to do that of this one. I'm gonna do a let's do a let's get in the circuit here. Let's do a left hand. Uh, I think you know what those lights are. I think that's an ILS system because now now they're white. You see those lights up there, and right now they're white. And look what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go below. This I remember from like a landing aircraft carriers in James F-18 years ago. Maybe if I get uh, low, it'll turn red, or maybe it. No, it doesn't seem to be turning, so I'm probably totally wrong. I do a very low pass here. Oh, here we go. Now they're red. Now I'm too low. See. So it is some sort of, uh, I don't know if that's ILS or, or a different name, I, I forgot what those are. Wonderful, stable airplane, even down low on the ground. Let's remember to turn the fuel pumps on now when you're low, I think you have to, the part of the checklist is uh, to, to make sure the fuel pumps are on. Oh, Vazi or Poppy? Okay, yeah, that's that's what those lights are, right? Visual approach, uh, something indicator, right? It's cool that they have them. That this airfield has it. It's simulated. Keep finding nice new surprises in this video game all the time. This little pier. I love islands. I currently live in an island, on an island. I love islands. Earth can be considered an island in a cosmos too, you know. Hey, Hydrate, copy that, Mystical. How you doing? <laughs> hey, oh, it's a slope. Thanks, Grantiger. How you doing? It's nice to see you all here. Let me hydrate here. Let me turn off track IR momentarily here. Give you an outside view. Yeah, I need to hydrate. I'm doing good, better than yesterday. Yesterday I had my second Moderna shot, the vaccine, and I felt terrible. I had like chills in the night, I had fever. My whole like left side of my body ached like, like I couldn't lie on my side. I mean, I'm also a wuss, you know, so it probably wasn't as bad as I'm making a sound. Watch out! What's a job? <laughs> Stretch. Copy that, Baru. Have a good one, man. Thanks so much for the follow. Thanks for dropping by. Bon appetit. All right. All right. All right, let's turn to final here. A little discombobulated on the controls because it's a brand new uh, Gladiator Next flight stick I'm using. Stayed up to about one in the morning mapping it, but it's just a pleasure to fly with it. It's so, it, it feels like so in tune of the controls. It's such a, a nice feeling stick. Very, very highly recommended, even though I've only had it for less than 24 hours. Right? Sing mode. Oh, dear. YT missed. Okay, hold up. Let me. If it's sing mode, then I. I have to. Okay. YT mystical. I am only flying into the Isle of Wide Airfield now. There is no fly plan today. Oh! Oh shit! <laughs> Sorry. That's that's Icebird's. That's Icebird's fault, okay? Bauru guessed. What? <laughs> Bauru wins guessing minus 62? Hey, I'll I'll put one for Bauru, okay? I don't know. It was the crash rigged. Hey, come on, Shippo. You've got two already. 
uh who was asking me i am flying i am flying i'm just flying around where this airplane was designed i think in uh, bembridge echo golf uh, hotel juliet i'm just doing touch and goes here just practicing flying the airplane from here uh later i'm gonna add it to to neofly and then uh and then I'm gonna do some flights with it, but I'm going to, I'm not gonna just add it to Neofly and start flying with it. I'm going to fly the Cessna to get, I'm gonna try to find one of those treasures so I can get like a million dollars in, in Neofly and then buy the airplane to be, you know, proper about it to, to keep the role playing going. But uh, granted, <laughs> all right, so we got Baudu 218 also on the on the on the list now so i'm gonna add baudu 218 here so i don't forget there's one shipa has one two so far why is a damned pilot jumping stretching drinking like mad the airplane is shaking pilot pilot hello it's it's uh it's a pro pilot as Gr grantinger said uh, what can i say uh i add all this stuff to the chat i have to did i miss anything i got the stretch i got the hydrate okay i have to do the sing mode now okay let's here let's do it like this okay let me, let me do a proper sing mode for i have to pause this and i have to disable my filters here on the noise suppression everything so my voice is not going to sound you know it's going to sound worse but just just temporary because i'm going to do this uh i want to give iceberg a good sing mode here okay and also let me give you a let me give you a better view while we're waiting for this airplane to turn on. Uh, put the mags on. Can you hear the birds? I love that this game has birds in it. All right, let's do a sing mode for Iceberg, okay? This one goes out for Iceberg because he redeemed it, okay? Copy that, Shiba. All right. Um, I like the look of the islander, but I'm sure about the black box sim so many black critics for their old products granted girls got the black box sim blues maybe he bought an airplane from them in the past and he wasn't happy i'm not sure because this is the first one i buy and so far i have to say so far i'm pretty happy even though there are of course things that can be improved Become a great singer once. Uh, oh no. All right. <laughs> yeah, one day I'll become a great singer. That's not gonna happen. But uh, hey, it's the 2021. That's you know, 15 minutes of fame for everyone, even terrible singers and guitar and terrible guitar players. So uh, live on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> this came for iceberg redeeming the and another hydrate here from mystic okay redeeming the uh the uh the sing mode okay okay we have more we have more predictions coming in from uh whoa minus okay that one maybe you'll win that one if i crash again <laughs> mystical all right and what's going on? so what what so okay so you, there, there are a lot of critics for was it like an airliner that it, that it got got a lot of flack from i saw something something about it but you know then i read about their bird dog which is for this sim and uh and i i heard that 
they released it. It has some problems, but they did a, they did a really good job. Uh, they did they did a really good job uh, fixing it up, and people are happy with it. So like, okay, that sounds good, you know. And so, uh, and so I. But I mean, I don't this, because it's this airplane, and it's you know one of my favorite airplanes ever because of uh, having flown with it in my childhood. I just no matter what people said, I probably would have bought it anyway just for the chance of flying it, you know. Uh, And uh, and I had seen that uh, black box simulation had this airplane for the for you know the prior version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, but that one had performance issues. That whole flight simulator. And I when I heard about this one coming out, this is this flight simulator is what got me back into uh, into. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> Thanks, Mystic One. Let me let me get my sound back, my filters back, so that I don't you all don't like go away running because of my. My noise suppression is off, my noise gate is off, my expander is on, my compressor was off, and now they're all back on. Okay, so hopefully that sounds better. Uh, yeah, I'm an amateur streamer. I'm learning a lot about, you know, sound and broadcasting and stuff to try to get a decent experience here for you all. And, uh, and, uh, and it's been a ride, I can tell you. Oh, let's do the lights too. Let's do the lights, all right. Uh, nav lights, uh, yes, please. Taxi lights, uh, yes, please. Uh, landing lights, pulse, uh, no. Cabin lights, we'll turn them on. Beacon lights, uh, sure. Strobe lights, no. Oh, instrument lights. Uh. Oh, oh, does this work? Is it on? I can't tell so much. Does it light up the instruments at night? That would be so cool if it does. And we'll, we'll, we'll maybe change it to night later and we'll test that. All right, where's the, we're at takeoff, fuel pump on. Fuel pump, oh, is it on or off? I forget, I think it's on. I think we turn it off after we've taken off and after we're, we're flying high in the sky somewhere. Oh, these two as well, the electrics uh, port generator on variable generator and then I think I was supposed to turn these pumps so I did it the other way around hopefully it won't blow up the engine all right we're doing we're doing uh basically like circuits of landings here ladies and gentlemen and uh oh watch your head watch your head out there watch your head get oh no <laughs> I mean, just look at the other way, you know, it's, it's, it should be looking at the airplane that you're, I mean, she got probably bored because I was talking so much and I wasn't moving. <laughs> Imagine if this had, had Grand Theft Auto 5 level uh, physics simulation for the things and they like, would have knocked the person off the little, the little cart there. All right, let's do another flight here. We have some predictions. <laughs> Stop and stop and stop and stop and stop and take a look at the if the weather still I'm in live weather here still so it should probably still be going that direction unless the, there's a big change in the wind. Yeah, so we're gonna go to landway runway thirst thirty check for traffic. Uh, seem to be all right unless there's some daredevils doing a buzzing me from another direction. As uh, Timmy Thumb and uh, an Icebird do sometimes, just surprise me. You know, they jump into the stream and uh, and surprise me. Here's another suggestion. This might be a tall order, okay? But for Microsoft Flight Simulator Asobo Studios, uh, I don't know how they would implement this. But right now, unless you like, if you come and fly with me in this airfield. I'm live online, okay, I'm a US East server, I think, but if you come land, fly with me in this airfield, uh, and you see my, my plane, it, if you don't have the plane, if you haven't bought this plane, you will see like another plane, another two engine plane, an air default two engine plane. So suggestions from Microsoft to Sobo Studios is, is there a way to, to 
have the external model of planes that people have joined load in, I probably that's probably a very difficult problem for them to solve. Um, just the external model, maybe even a low po low polygon count that the developer could prepare ahead of time so that and put it in a database so that if you, the sim detects that this this type of plane there, it would load up a, a low poly count maybe. Uh, outside rendition of that plane okay i'm not talking to adc at all here because uh, they don't have this apparently even though there is a control tower there you can see there's a, a a control tower they don't answer me so uh but i'll do that anyway all right here we go i like it one two boss <laughs> thanks icebird <laughs> That's my fault because I don't have the... I, I, I'm confused about the control mapping. So there's this one mapping button that's very important when you're in drone view. Right now, I have a map, so I look around and then I can, I can click that button and then it gives you controls of the airplane. And sometimes I forget, so I go to drone view and, I, and I'm and i looking and then all of a sudden I have to take off and I forget to press the button and that's what happens, okay. Uh, slowly as uh, I get to this, uh, more used to this new flight stick... We're going to have smoother uh, camera changes over here. All right, here we go. How much how much flaps for takeoff? Uh, you just... Li uh, it's, it's called takeoff flaps right there, right in the middle. Just a little bit. I think it's about 10 degrees. You see that it has takeoff there? But that's takeoff flaps. Let's take a look from the outside view and see what it looks like. Looks more like uh, what... Actually, almost 45 degrees, right? Here, let me, let's go to the drone view and see. About 40, 30, 40 degrees, I'd say. What a pretty... You know, I, I love this thing here in this airplane. I love that, that little... Some World War II airplanes have, it's like a counterweight. It's a counterweight on the... You see this little red thing here? It's a counterweight on the wing. So, so cool. All right. Let's put the landing flaps because we're gonna go in straight down for landing. Actually, let's, let's raise the flaps and then get... Uh, let me get used to this. I'm going to turn the fuel pumps off. Uh, because that's what you're supposed to do after you take off. Not the fuel valve because it'll cut the engine. Okay, that's kind of crazy. They put the fuel valve right next to the thing you have to... That's... That probably has caused a few accidents, I would guess. And there's this weather here that makes like my... Always exciting my climb out. TO, take off, take off flaps. All right. All right, now I'm gonna put landing flaps. I'm gonna trim her up because the nose is gonna, is gonna want to raise when you have the landing flaps. And now let's put the fuel pump on. Fuel pump on for both the starboard and the port engines. It's brand new to me having two engines. Two big beasts here, which you can control uh, independently. I don't have a throttle, uh, a, a multi-engine uh, throttle quadrant, so I'm just, I have them uh, basically. Another, I have to say another, the usability of Microsoft Flight Simulator is excellent. They, they did excellent work for the usability. Including the control mappings, they have so many options. You can map uh, as an axis, you can map it as a keyboard uh, increments, you can map one engine, you can map all the engines. Maybe it was always like this, but I hadn't I hadn't played Microsoft uh, of Microsoft Flight Simulator for years, but I'm so happy of the usability of this one, and especially this menu up here. It's so nice to be able to just have everything here. All right. 
you have, don't have the landing gases, now's the time. I'm not, since, uh, I have a rule now, if, uh, if there's only one person, I will participate to make it a little bit of competition, so it just don't win automatically, you know, even though earlier today I forgot. But uh, if there is more than one person, if there is uh, more than one person guessing, then I won't participate because I don't want to be the referee uh, uh, in the match, you know. Okay, we are uh, pretty much the the like uh, this Captain Mustache told me yesterday. We are at the sweet, so, oh, we are at the sweet spot here, about 60 knots. Look, there's a nice little blue thing there. 64 knots is the magic number for this airplane. Rotate landing and there's something else too i forget if it was a, some stall or and here you go i'm my main thing i'm going to change my controls that i'm seeing right now is i'm going to change the trim back to a hat switch instead of this roller because uh, it just makes it easier for me to fly with one hand excuse me oh <laughs> all right here we go Oh. Oh, that was hard. Grantiger Martin with a win. I'm totally not used to this. Uh, this 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 airplane drops much faster than the Cessna. If you cut power, it, I, it's it's heavier. You know, it has these two engines. They really drop, so I'm really having uh, trouble uh, with the with the flare. I really have to get used to it. That was a hard landing. Well, you're in the leaderboard too now, Grantiger. <laughs> excellent nice to have a bunch of people join the the leaderboard here if you if you want me to link to a website instead of your twitch account just let me know because i do put a link to your twitch account there on the leaderboard let me let me note down uh that grantinger is on the leaderboard right now here you can see the strobe working there Grantiger Martin one all right that's what four I think I'm gonna do one more what time is it 11 30 for some reason I lost my stream running time here on my OBS so let me just uh, check my uptime here on chat come on you have to do my prediction <laughs> yeah iceberg what's going on today uh Well, you're still in the you're still in the lead, but all right, let's try it again. That's cool, this strobe. I like this strobe. It's like more. Are all strobes like this? That is this is this the speed of all strobe lights? Oh, here you go. There's the strobe light. Or are those the actual, or are those the landing lights? I thought the strobe was in the back. Let, let's turn on the, let's turn on the, the flashers now. Let's take a look. And then we'll do, we'll do some more. Strobe lights. There. Uh... Okay, now the strobes are working. There it is. All right, let's go. Fuel pump, I'll just leave it on. Let me put on some music again. I had turned it off after that sing request. And we're just going to take off a tailwind here because it's not very strong. Twisted Tricks 9 or 1 out there. Sixty-four knots, rotate. Very gentle air machine this. 
Oh shit, I had the flaps wrong. Look at that. Okay, that's good to know that it still works. Wow. Wow, I have a problem here though now. Look at that. I'm such an amateur. Okay, we still managed to take off with tail wing of the wrong flap setting. With landing flaps instead of takeoff. That's why you have checklists, ladies and gentlemen. Let's stay under these clouds and just turn around for another one quickly. Another prediction quickly here. Hope you're having a good Thursday. Weekend coming up. Amber's back on Saturday. Saturday morning, I'm going to go to the farmer's market. Buy the few food for the week. Oh, nice to see the little strobe now working. Inverted warp drive. <laughs> It would be cool if they, if you could put. I'm gonna I'm gonna add, make a new request to the uh, a new request to Sim Tool, the Sim Toolkit Pro developer. Please let me put in our, our custom request for uh, for landing guesses. Let's put our nose up to lower our airspeed here. And you see, it's just gonna it starts to drop. Okay. It drops pretty fast this plane. I've just been used to flying a Cessna for so long. I'm coming too high here. Way too high. Yeah, I'm gonna go around, I think. I'm gonna go around. Sorry, guys. There's no shame in going around, right? Even in a flight simulator. Totally unfamiliar with this airplane. First time I flew her in a flight simulator was yesterday. Let's do a close pass here on this uh, tree. Say hi to the tree. There's a new art installation here in New York City. In uh, I don't I think it's in Madison Square Park. I'm not sure where uh, this artist just put a bunch of dead trees there, and you know it's to get people thinking about what we're doing to the the biodiversity and the ecology of the planet. We need to plant more trees, not cut trees down. All right, I'm gonna go give myself some more space. Poppy Sheepa, cool man. All right, uh, flaps down. Do landing. Yeah, this trim, I, I need to switch it back to the hat switch because what's happening is I forget, I, I can't, I forget that the trim is in the roller and it takes me that, that's why i always go nose up if i'm not thinking because there's a lot of things happening you know i have to stay the airplane is getting ahead of me I try to stay with the airplane here at least i don't have to remember to lower the landing gear because it's some fixed uh, tough landing gears right there and open the window a bit of fresh air and here we go. Got to stay on that blue line there, 64 knots, instead of those magic speed. Whoa, something going wrong with this uh, musician's uh, system here.
I like to move back a bit my view for the lanes because it gives a, a greater sense of speed and it lets me gauge I feel the that was better hey Grantiger again <laughs> sorry sorry Icebird Grantiger coming in here you know it's like a it just showed up and it started winning what can I say All right, two for Grantiger. <laughs> we have a rivalry here, ladies and gentlemen. Developing. Enough is if enough. <laughs> that one follow up, oh dear. <laughs> Shit. All right. Let's see, 1140. Should I try to get this in Neofly and do some Neofly missions right now? Let's, let's do this. I'm going to park out, outside here. Let's check a, check out some of the libraries. I'm going to show you a bit of the what this airplane comes with here. Parker right there. Let's see. Uh, okay, fuel pumps are off. Let's just uh, turn her off just to get used to it. Put the parking brake. Avionics. Electrical. Nice to know the airplane can keep running with, with no electricity, huh? That makes me feel better. Magnetos are off. And that's that. Let me make sure I put Grantiger's other thing here. Okay, Keeper got two, Bauru got one. Iceberg's still looking for his point today. There'll be more after after large lunch, then, ladies and gentlemen, but there'll be some more now too. But I want to show you a bit because uh, someone asked me a question earlier. I, f I forget who it was, but uh, I think maybe Sheep about the range of this. So let's go take a look at the specification of this aircraft and let's try a new livery. I know, liver livery or livery? Livery sounds like a liver to me and I don't, it makes my... You know, I don't, I don't want to drink too much and, and, and ruin my liver, so I, I prefer livery. I don't know. But okay, so this aircraft, here, here, here's what it comes with, okay? And here you go, range, 800 nautical miles. Endurance, 9 hours, okay? Ceiling is 16,500 feet. Cruise speed, 124 knots. All right. Interesting thing about this too is like you have look you have like four passenger uh the the real plane fits nine passengers. I don't know if there's a limitation to Microsoft Flight Simulator, but you can you can change the weight here for four passengers at least. And there's a cargo pod you can change the weight to as well. All right. But the cool thing is uh the libraries, okay. So and one thing that I, I thought curious in this thing. And maybe I'm, I'm making a mistake here, but look at this. If you go to the profile, okay, I go to my hangar. All right, and I'm and I set the view so we can look around. Look at the nose, okay. The nose. This is a default livery, okay. It's like, and you see, you see this. Uh, Google pronounced it livery, not livery. Okay, so so I'm not making a mistake, right? Enough is enough. I have to unfollow. Okay, that yeah, I read that one before. Not my mother language. Yeah, technically English is not my mother language now. My Portuguese is, but now I probably speak English better than Portuguese because I wasn't speaking for so long. So my curiosity about this livery, livery, is look at this. Okay, this is the default one. Okay, and look at that nose there, right behind, right next to my uh, is it my right ear? You know, the nose is like about to puncture my right ear. I thought, be careful. Well, this one won't. Okay, but look at that. This is pretty round, okay? But look, if I change to, for example, 
The Sky Bus, okay. It's a charming name, right? It's a bus that flies in the sky. Alright, I changed to the Sky Bus, okay. Now I go here again. Let's put it pointing to my right uh, ear a little bit. Look at that. Is that... Is it... Is, are there different models? Look how pointy it is. Do you see it? Oh, there's a sky walking past here. It looks like a ro uh, 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 that guy kind of looks like uh, someone who works in Aeroporto Fiumicino di Roma. I don't know why, maybe because uh, it looks like the, the bold Italian type, you know. Okay, uh, the, ty the type, you know, they'll, they'll smoke cigarettes under the no smoking sign in the airport. And, uh... <laughs> okay, so this, I don't know if this is, I don't think this is a mistake. I think this is part of the live, the different liveries have different fuselages as well the nose changed because this one is pointy okay and uh to see another one this one is this one is uh i think the developer the main guy i think he's called howard maybe i think he's based in malta i've been to malta one of my best friends from university lives in malta i've been to malta a few times wonderful island to visit you know bit of a crazy place too for driving uh be careful driving in Malta because one, it's uh, you know the other side of like in England, it's the other side of the road, and two, you know they might drink a lot of wine uh, at my friend's uh, place, and then they go out driving, and <laughs> they end up on uh, they go off the road onto the beach of the car and stuff like that. So this one is a cool airplane, Maltese, uh, you know, the Knights of Malta, a storied place for aviation. You know, had Spitfires, hurricanes protecting Malta in the Second World War. But uh, look, this is a, a, a sort of navy type. Uh, and it has a radar dome there. I haven't flown of this one yet. I don't know if it changes anything in the center. Maybe we should pick it right now to see what it's like. But look, the nose changed again. Okay. And uh, no, you got it wrong. Google. Pro okay. Oh, I got it wrong. Wait. Google pronounce it. Livery, not livery. Okay, no. Oh, I said it wrong after because it's livery. I always pronounce wrong. This friend of mine from Malta is the person that made the most fun of me. He said, "I, you say sleep. You say S's with Z. You don't say sleep." So, okay, here's Shetland.gov. Okay, it's not. It's not Shetland. It's Shetland. Okay. Excuse my English, but you know. <laughs> I have never the Shetland Islands, I think, but it's just like a funny. i just that's like a sort of you know university type uh, high school humor here. Okay, hey G Sika, one two boss, we got Grantiger Martin here and Iceberg with getting close to Iceberg for all of those scorings into the next dimension. Chipa was AFK again, taking care of the cats, but let's not mention that because you have to stay here and keep talking. Another thing I want to talk about with this thing that's uh, not cool so far is the. Uh, Everything is cool except this. Uh, in any library that you pick, uh, when I when I go when I when I set the the tail number, it doesn't seem to change the aircraft. I don't know if that's something that um, that um, black box simulation has to change or not. But I would love to. I like to see my tail number here because I use hypertext or something else. But again, another pointy nose with this library. Okay, and uh, OLT. Let's look at that one. Uh, pointy nose again. Are they all pointy nose except for the default? I'm gonna have to look at all of them now because Norvig. Maybe someone who's an expert of the Islander here will show up and let us know why. Okay, this one. This one doesn't. That's good. Look, this one doesn't have the. I, this one is more friendly. The pointy nose for me looks like it's. It's, uh, it's like a jet. It's going to fire missiles and, and fire guns. Okay. One, two, boss. JDK11 now is following. Thank you for the follow, JDK11. And I'm glad that this emote explosion is working. It didn't work yesterday for some reason. I had to... Re <laughs> this is a pretty one. I like this livery. But I like that this is a round nose, you know, so it won't puncture my ear here. Oh, and there it goes again. Ajani. Ah, Johnny, ma ferma te un attimo, dai, dai, ho preso da tre caffè, vai, vatti a fumare una sigaretta fuori, dai. Guy works at a pot of fiumicino, smokes cigarettes under the no smoking signs, has like 10 coffees and just keeps walking around, you know, he doesn't know what to do. All right. Especially right now in pandemic time, there's not a lot of flights coming into fiumicino. So, okay, SVG Air, uh, scalable vector graphics, no, that's... Uh, 
that's in web development but uh, SVG air I don't know this is a pretty one that's right nice and nice and bright round again I like the round ones they're more friendly okay how are you doing JD 2k11 y2k all right do you want to see all of them or should I go fly I think I should go fly right let's go fly let's let's go to Malta and let's pick the library for the Maltese one okay because I've been to Malta before I've been to Valletta I mean Malta is a tiny place okay it's a tiny island my friend uh, Jeremy lives there my friend Jillian lives there and, and it makes me feel bad because I have to do something for my friend Jillian that I am <laughs> such a you know it, I'm a I'm a I'm a lazy bum sometimes okay all right set us departure from uh, Lima Mike Mike Lima Luca okay isn't there is that that's the only airport they have here no other little airfields wait are we in Malta this is Malta right I think so yeah that's Gozo over there Gozo Island beautiful place to swim there here's Malta tiny island the point that once uh, my friend got lost and you know he was a little bit his mind state was a little old altered and uh and instead and instead of turning back and 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 find and turning on the right place we just went around the island we went one time around the island <laughs> Another friend of mine who lives in Malta, Gianmarco. Ciao, Gianmarco. If by any chance you ever drop by here, okay. And uh, I'm just gonna let, let's put let's put her light. Let's see how she flies really light. I'm gonna pretend I'm just flying by myself here. I don't wanna hurt any of these digital passengers of my shenanigans. All right, uh, customizations. Here's my hypertext tail number that's not being picked up. Okay. Let's just put hyper and see if it changes something. Maybe it, I had to change it for it to pick it up. Show tail number is on, okay. All right. Uh, flight conditions, we'll leave it live. Live weather, we'll see what the weather's like in uh, Malta. Let's go. So oh, the real world is trying to come through here. That's are not bothering me too much right now, but they probably will soon. Because lunchtime is coming, ladies and gentlemen. I just remember that I, I I titled the stream uh Britain Norman being to Islander with new VK Big Gladiator next. This is this fly stick. I got it yesterday. It's my first fly stick in like seven years. I was flying with a Thrustmaster T Flight Hottest for this whole time in the meantime. But this is so nice. I love this flight stick. VKB Gladiator, it's it feels so nice and has excellent software that comes with it. It's I'm just really a fan right now. Uh, Luca Ground Hypertext Hero, uh, clear for takeoff runway 31. Hypertext Hero 1. Thank you, Luca Ground. I'll see you in a bit. Uh, let's take a quick look outside, see if by any chance uh, my uh, and see, this is a cool thing about Microsoft Flight Simulator. Look, uh, the weather affects the airplane, even if you're stationary on the ground. Look at that, the airplane is moving a bit. You see it moving from side to side a little bit. That's the wind having an effect on the airplane, okay. All right, again, no tail number. I want my tail number to appear eventually, please. Uh, black box simulation, but you know, eventually. It, just, it was just released, that's all right. Uh, let's go. Let's do, a, let's do a fly about Malta. The weather seems fine. Nice and clear. I can bring us off, we're good to go. Uh, flaps are in the up position, so let's put them in, down to the takeoff position. Call it airship. <laughs> that would, like you can't see the you can't see the tail number because it's an airship. <laughs> That's a nice name. I'll I'll call uh, I'll call my next. Uh... Whoa 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 whoa! She, she's jumping here. There's a lot of wind. She is jumping here. She, she's rearing to go. Look at that! Look at that! Wow! She is rearing to go. Look at that! Whoa! A lot of wind here in Malta. There's Valletta in the distance. Let's put the flaps up. The external view here. Oh, I miss Malta. All right, trim up. Trim nose down, I mean. Yeah, she's moving in the wind. 
she wants she's rearing to, to to jump up here and fly let's fly let's do a low flight over valletta and let me uh disable my my preview to give me some more frames here i sometimes forget to do that the strong wind coming from the uh where is my compass there from uh On the west, west, uh, west northwest. Strong wind coming from that direction. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can uh, remember where is my aileron trim. Do I have a, a aileron trim in this? I don't know if I do. There, there must be aileron trim in this, right? Yeah, there is. I don't know where the setting is. I'm moving it. I don't know where where it's happening maybe it's on the stick as well maybe it's one of these buttons on the stick i have to read the islander flight manual all right valletta and then we'll turn back and we'll go for a little fly around and we can uh we could do a, a landing in a field somewhere it don't have doesn't have to be on the runway Let's do some low flight over Valletta. Let me switch to internal view so I don't get the Microsoft Flight Simulator game over screen. That looks like a, an anomaly there, that big building. We have an old fort here, you can see it right there. They, have, they, had a, they used to have a lot of cruise ships that came in, stopping in the, during the Mediterranean tours of Malta. But it uh, looks like they all sank now. I'm <laughs> just kidding there. <laughs> so, the cruise ship industry kind of got disrupted by this pandemic. And, you know, I, I, I'm not a bad fan of cruise ships. So, like a cities on water, I think they, environmentally, they don't, they're, they're not very good for the environment. But I've never actually been in one. So maybe it's fun to travel in a cruise ship. Not sure. Oh, and before I forget, oh man, I, I didn't even have a, the pumps on. Well, I started from the runway and uh, and it had them off, so maybe you don't have don't need them on if it's a long enough runway. What's it like in Malta? Let's see, twenty five degrees centigrade, nice and comfortable, about eighty Fahrenheit. All right, let's find a field and let's do a t let's do a, a touch and go. Or maybe even a short let's let's just do a short field landing of this thing and to see how how she how she flies how she see if we can uh how it's looking from the ground level here in malta it's a very uh crowded island there's because it's very small okay and there's not a lot of space around could probably find my friend's house but i i won't i want to you know preserve his, preserve his privacy so i'm not gonna do it right now oh have a call standby i'll be right back ladies and gentlemen
Alright, I am back. A call from my mom over in Rome. And uh, here we can see... Uh, that's Malta, that's the main island. If you look this way... Oh, Gozo's on the other side. Okay, Gozo does in the distance there. Behind the tail of the airplane will be Gozo. Alright. Thanks, Shipa. Are you playing any other games these days other than StarCraft and uh, Elite Shipa? All right, let's go in for a landing at the for a touch and go at that airport, okay? Let's turn the fuel pumps on. Let's uh, put the flaps down to landing configuration. Let's trim her up uh, so the nose is uh, more or less level of the horizon. Nice gentle descent here. Not really, I'm not giving much at the moment at all, actually. Oh, taking a break, all right. Yeah, it's good to take a break from things. Grantiger is predict uh, negative 150. Grantiger wants to, Grantiger wants to take over here. He arrived, he wants to take over. You know, it's like a boss from a, like a wise guy from another town, just uh, barging into Icebird's uh, uh, territory over here. Is that a ship out there? I don't have this Microsoft Flight Simulator. I think that's another little island. I don't have this, there's this Microsoft Flight Simulator mod that adds a lot of a ship traffic. Maybe I should put it in, especially if I go fly around islands anymore, which I'm going to be doing more of. I mean, England is a night. Oh, look, there's some windmills there. That's nice to see. Opa! Just floating in the air here into the I can feel how strong the wind is because I'm pointing and all of a sudden the speed just dropped a little bit. Oh, it's the mixture. Alright, gotta trim nicely here. But there is quite a bit of wind coming from the northwest, this wind, I think. Double check that bearing there. From the from the west. It's a wind from the west here. Cheaper, minus 120. I have faith. Everybody keep the faith. Remember John Bon Jovi? If you have a song stuck in your head when you wake up in the morning and you want to solve that problem, just put on some Bon Jovi. Then you have a instead you have a Bon Jovi song stuck in your hand. Instead of the other song you had stuck in your hand. You know, there's some some artists, some some musicians. It just makes songs just stick to your damn head, you know, all day. Keep the faith, Shipa. Don't have to worry about landing gears because look at that, they're already down. You got those big flaps. Look at those big flaps. It's almost like a Spitfire in World War II that just drops like 90 degree angle. And look how look at how strong the wind is. Look how slow this he's flying over here. Oh, this is making me wish like I was by the beach right now. I'm gonna go eat some fish and chips in Malta too. I don't think Icebird wants to play anymore. He's probably busy. You know. I know you all have better things to do than watching me fly this all day. But if I can provide a radio station to you and talk some drivel that that uh, maybe makes you laugh once in a while, put some good music here and there, then uh, my job's done, you know. Yeah, let's, let's increase power here. We're dropping a little bit too much. I'm thinking about just forgetting about the whole DMCA thing and just putting whatever music I want and just not saving the VODs, just deleting them afterwards. 
Because I don't know if there's people who even watch the VODs. You know? The VO video on demand. VOD. That's another weird thing from the 21st century here for you, ladies and gentlemen. Nice light in the cockpit. This cockpit looks... Look at this. In this, it's painted black. Everything is painted black, and look, some seats are moved. There's, there looks like what's to. There looks like a, a, a radar panel back here. Let's after we land, let's go and take a look at that. So you see, the li library doesn't just change the outside of the airplane. Look at this cockpit. This one is looking nicer than the. I like it black. In this particular lighting, at least. And man, I think the whole thing is ridiculous. <laughs> The airplane or my stream? <laughs> or or John Bon Jovi, sorry. I missed. Alright, here we go. Very strong win. I'm gonna make some of these Maltese motorists crash of this landing over here. Now they're probably watching me instead of watching what's in front of them. Boom! Crash into a little tuck tuck. Malta has these old buses that are really cool, really old buses, like from the 40s or it looks like for 50s or something. Let's give her a little rudder here. Let's try to get... I'll try to give you an outside view, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. Cheap! 120. Minus 32. That's pretty smooth, huh? She was just like, like a little paper airplane gliding in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll do one more. But first, let, let's clear the runway in case there's another digital or, or NPC pilot here. <laughs> All right, let me... Oh, oh, watch out. Sorry, I forgot to turn off track IR. And let's go take a look at that, that radar terminal. Plus one. Let's go take a look at that radar terminal. Can I go in from the external view? Can I go inside the airplane? Let's see. Yes, I can. Okay. And look at this. There's a ra there's a radar here. Oh, they just they just that's that's interesting. They just like they, they just probably duplicated the view. The the view of that little Garmin. That's pretty cool though, huh? This that's what a radar operator would. I mean, in a real military airplane, this would probably be the radar right here. Interesting. We can open the doors if we want. That's interesting that with the, uh, the drone view, you can get so close. Because I could give you like a view like this. Almost looks like a helicopter then. I could give you... Oh, look at that. The engine. They modeled like the cylinders. Uh, I could just give you a view like from here of this. All right, I'll leave that there. All right, let's do one more. And this one is gonna be a, f I'm, we're gonna land in a field. We're not gonna land in the runway. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I mean, they, they say that, I mean, he said they're all 4K textures, but my main complaint really is the ones in the, here. These to me don't like th this scuffing over here, for example. You know that doesn't look high res to me. Maybe there, there's an issue on my settings, but I, I think I have my settings all high res textures. But uh, yeah, they're not uh, they're not at a Sobo Studios level quality. But you know, I hope they can they 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 improve it. But if you make your own library, can't you make your own textures as well? For both the inside and the outside? I saw someone was already doing that. And if that's the case, then hopefully also the community can come in and help out. All right, flaps to take off position. We're just going to roll right out of here. And we're going to go land in a field for my last landing of, uh, of this particular stream before I stop for lunch. After lunch, I'm either going to come back to Microsoft Flight Simulator of the Islander in... Uh, I'm going to add it to... Uh, to Neofly, or I might do some IL-2 Sturmovic. I mapped it to that. I mapped my new uh, Gladiator Next 
I started doing the mappings for that yesterday as well. I'm still investigating how it's working, but even with like just a random, like a quick mission uh, strafing flight, I already felt such a difference, like the precision of this. It's really nice. So maybe we can do an Isle 2 stream of extreme after, uh, after, um, after lunch and do some strafing of ground targets to practice. Pretty cool machine, yeah. Makes me sad, but after I bought the PA-28 from Just Flight, I don't like other planes anymore. It's so good compared to many others. Really, it's, it's really good, the PA-28. Like, everything visually and... Uh, and uh, the textures and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I... Is that, the, is that the Cherokee? I've never flown that plane in a flight sim, so... I don't know what it's like, but... Uh, I just love this airplane personally, you know. So for me, it's it's not a big deal to look at the, to to look past some of the of the niggles. Who knows? Maybe I'll try a P twenty eight eventually, but maybe I don't want to get spoiled. <laughs> mm -hmm. I generally try to keep a. Whatever's going on, I, I do my best to keep a positive light on things. And I do that conscien conscientiously and uh, actively because... I'll be honest with you. Earlier, in my early stream... When I started streaming, okay? Like uh, late last year, I think September or something. And I look back at some of my early streams because I saved them to YouTube. And then I... I, I have a notebook that I keep to, you know, like of my schedule and, and just like writing my thoughts and stuff. And one of the things I wrote after looking at the early streams in my notebook is uh, I, I made a note to myself not to be uh, uh, negative on the stream, not to say, oh, you know, this sucks and that could be better and all the time because I can be pretty critical about things. But I made, I made an active, uh, conscious decision to not do that and i think that's generally it can be really hard but i think it's a balance but i think it's a it, it, it i've hung out with some pretty pessimistic people in my life and i and it made me decide that i, I don't want to be pessimistic i want to be optimistic and it can take conscious effort you know because sometimes it's really hard to be optimistic about certain situations you know but but i do my best and uh and it's it's something that I saw in my stream, too. It's like, man, I'm being too critical about this stuff. I, I have to, you know... And then I changed the thing to brighten your day, you know, the, the, the one of the slogans. I think I'm gonna land there. That looks like a nice... Some nice little fields there. A nice test of the short field landing capability. We can buy... Like, right in those fields over there. So, I'm not saying that... And, and don't get me wrong. I think that there's very... It's very... Uh, it's very important to have a negative view on things and be critical about certain things because... But it's kind of like a positive negative thing. I read this guy called Jiddu Krishnamurti. He wrote this book called uh, The First and Last Freedom. A bunch of books and think on these things. And he has a very interesting take on, uh, you know, that you can use negative thought for positive outcomes by not just doing what you're told and being critical and just thinking for yourself and and uh, questioning authority mainly. And that changed my life a lot too when I, at the time that I read those books, but, um, but at the same time, I w life is beautiful and I want to, I think we're in a golden age of flight simulators specifically. And yesterday I was telling myself, wow, I have this new stick, I have this new plane that I flew in as a kid and I can feel like I'm actually flying this airplane. It's just amazing, you know? And it's all just being simulated in this computer. It's just so crazy. But I can I can be here and I can be meeting people and talking to people. Oh, there's a Alpha. Look at that Alpha Zulu Alpha 886 coming into land the Valletta, whatever the airport is called. Yeah, it's an AI airplane. Nice to see there's some AIs out there, to share the sky with. Okay, well my landing is gonna be here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna put the flaps down to the down position. It's going to be one of these fields here. I don't know exactly where, but uh, we're going to narrowly miss those. Uh, probably, actually, they're going to be to the left side a bit. 
But yeah, my, my dad could be a pretty pessimistic person, you know, and I, I had to learn to be optimistic. I love my dad and everything, but... You know, there's, uh... There's a point in life when you have to say, hey... I want to look at the good side of things. But it's a balance. You have to look at the bad sides too, otherwise there's no improvement, right? So if you're listening black box simulations, please improve these textures over here. Even though it says 4K, this looks a little, you know, not 4K to me, the ceiling here, for example. And then uh, we got some Stratocaster coming in here. And then uh, please add sounds to all these switches. Please add the letters, the, the tail number to the, to the outside of the airplane that I pick. And keep improving all this excellent work you've done so far. All right, where are we gonna land? We're gonna land wherever we cannot crash into a tree right here, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe let's try like this field right here, right here. Let's see. The, let's test the short landing ability of this thing. Here we go. Here we go. Full power. Whoa, when you put full power, she really climbs, huh? Alright, now full brakes. Full brakes. Alright, no guesses, no problem. This was just a little landing. And let's go park by these beautiful windows here. I'm gonna have to check out that P-28. I mean, there's so many, there's so many airplanes now coming out that I, you know, I got the Blair Yacht from like 1909 or whatever the airplane is from. I got this one, I got the Spitfire, those are the three airplanes I've bought. I'm gonna park here. We'll turn her off. And we'll see if there's someone to raid out there. Back to the main menu. Hell point, tabletop RPGs. Let's go to Brittany. Oh, no worries, dude. No need to say sorry. I, I mean, I need to send you some more stuff. You're you're a star sheep, but thanks for being here as always. Yeah, I hear you. I'm I'm by myself at home too now, so I you know I actually you just remind me I have to do laundry right now too. Maybe it'll be after the it'll be later, but I have to do it today, and I have to clean the apartment before Amber comes back. I have to, you know, cook. It's it's hard to. I mean, it's nice in a way, but another way, you know, you get used to having a companion, and then it's tough when it's uh, it's it all it all becomes more work. Okay, what am I doing here? I'm raiding. Okay. Yes, the man cave has to be representable soon. <laughs> well, instead of typing raid, I type rave. You know, I guess I'm I'm raving mad. I want to go to a rave. Okay, raid, and let's go to, let's go see some art, there's a Brittany art vibes out there. I've been looking at some art streams as well, because I'm thinking about doing, um, combining some arts things. I don't know if it's, I don't really know if it's going to work for me, but 
This is one that I found recently. Thanks for being here. I'll be back after lunch. And I hope you have a, a good rest of your Thursday. Oh, I didn't do it. Wrong, wrong. Uh... I need to get a nice seven. Microsoft Flight Simulator really takes all my power of this computer when I'm uh, when I'm uh, running it and streaming. So even typing in in in, uh, in OBS. Thanks so much, YT Misco. Thanks, Sheepa. Thanks, Grantinger. Sorry if I if I sounded like I was giving a lecture out there about positivity and stuff. I wasn't. I was speaking more about myself, not about yourself or any anything else thanks so much for being here i'll update the leaderboard and i'll be back later ladies and gentlemen have a lovely rest of your thursday this hypertext here out of hyperspace right now